My name is Daniel Graverson and I've been using Optum Express 2.0 for I guess two weeks now and been working with it, creating pages, working and creating plugins and looking at some of the code. So I'm, I believe that I have some experience with the tool and can give you some insight on what's going on with, with uh, Optum Express 2.0, if it's a useful tool and what you can do with it. So let me th first uh, go through some of the, the things that I've seen here. I have, have a page here where I've been using it. And well, one good thing is they have posted a lot of updates since it was released. So since the first release, there's been updated uh, five times. So we are in release five. Some may say it's a bad thing. I would say it's a good thing. They, they listen to, to customers' problems and help uh, solve them really quickly. Um, I would say I've, I've been looking at some of the, the code and the code quality is really good. It's not something that unexperienced people have been developing. Uh, so they, they have created a solid product, but of course there's always a lot more expectations coming out. And when they've just released it, uh, WordPress 2 3.6 also came out and that created some uh, inconsistency in the code and something didn't work anymore. So they were really, uh, the Optimized Press team was really fast at uh, implementing new changes. So one of the, the things I really like about uh, the, the, the new uh, Optimized Press is the page builder. It's really, really simple to create a new page um, and you got an enormous amount of templates you can select from and all of these templates has been pre-filled and what you just have to do is go and select one and fill in all the required data for this so uh, well i guess that's the the big challenge you have to well update the, the page to whatever you you want and uh, it, it, it will just take some, some time to get these uh, things filled out, but you anyway have to create the pages, so it, it does take a lot of time anyway and figure out what you want. Uh, one of the, the really nice features is uh, the opt-in. I don't know if this is one, but you can connect it directly to uh, your different email providers. It has a bunch of different uh, emails providers that you can uh, easily connect to and then say well this is needs to be on on this page and then uh, thank you page and you're good to go um, so I really enjoy that uh, and the way the ease of use of I'll just see if I can move some of these uh, around um, obviously you need a big screen in, in so if you can delete elements if you want to move around with them it's really really simple uh, it has a lot of social plugins let's see if we can move this down here i don't know i ought to be able to move it uh, here maybe the, the it has some different settings or something like that that makes it impossible to move it around but 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 I guess you I hope you get the idea that this is a really a simple way you can edit uh, pages and make them look really amazing. And if you have been using WordPress uh, before, then you don't even have to consider using HTML. The only thing is, if you edit one of these text boxes and want to put in some special features. You can do that using HTML, but otherwise, other than that, you don't need to, to do any coding. Um, and you just say save and it's published if you want that. I guess you need to change it to, to publish. Now I don't want to publish this one. Uh, the, the block settings is really uh, cool and what you can do there. Uh, and definitely if you've used optimized press before then there's a really a big difference in, in what you have here 
um, you well you have all these different settings you can uh, put up uh, some different layouts uh, side column where the, the column should be uh, and you have the ability to put on modules so you can put a, a, an opt-in bar at the side which is really a nice way to to put it in before it wasn't really simple you just had some some html you could put in so now he's really taking a lot of uh, usage of the html um i really do like that this help all over so if you have an exp a problem with with something you can just click uh, the the icon and then you get help to filling out this uh, section and this is really helpful for for everyone when when you experience something new and you don't have to log into the the membership site and figure out how it's being done um as i think the the only thing left is is uh, the optimized plus 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 club or whatever it's called uh, the club setting where you have some different abilities uh, and here they will be publishing uh, different page styles and updates to the Optimus Press installations so that you hopefully when you go into the page builder you can get even more settings and you can use them. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is it contains a membership plugin so you don't need to have wishlist member or anything else uh, included. I don't think I've, I've not installed on this uh, installation yet but it, it essentially allows you to to control the the user's uh, content give you access to the different uh, information that's required and stuff like that so it really makes it simple for you to create uh, pages so if you buy through my link uh, it's just below this video you you'll be getting uh, my tool that i've created that will allow you to migrate all your current wordpress installations onto optimize press if you have some old pages then i guess that's the only thing i have of challenge with the uh, optimize press 2.0 is if you have one of these pages that has not been converted into the the new setting then you don't have the you cannot import it as a page build. So you would have to delete the page and create a new page. And I've created a tool that you can see on the, the side if you find that interesting. That really, if you have a list of uh, sites like uh, pages like this for the memberships that you can just convert all these pages onto optimized press 2.0 in some uh, template form that you define and i find that really useful if you have a lot of uh, membership sites uh, normally i would be selling this for for 57 us dollars but if you purchase through my link yeah, and i get the, the affiliate commission you'll be getting this uh, plug-in for free uh, from me. So uh, I hope this review has been helpful and I'm looking forward to, to hear your comments on this and to see if, if you find uh, my plug-in relevant. So until we meet again, goodbye.